Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem we have to compute the Laplace transform of cosine cube t. Solution. So my thinking is to rewrite this using some trigonometric identities. So um, I don't know of an identity for cosine cubed off the top of my head, but I do know one for cosine squared. So maybe we can write this as cosine t times cosine squared t. So this is equal to the Laplace transform of cosine t times, and then cosine squared, the identity is 1 plus cosine 2t over 2. If it was sine squared, it would have a minus. I always just remember that cosine has the plus. We can rewrite this as the Laplace of cosine t. I'm going to show an extra step here. This is 1 over 2 plus, you can break it up, cosine 2t over 2. I usually skip this step and go to the next step below. Now you can distribute the cosine t, so you would get 1 half, you can pull it out, Laplace, cosine t. Likewise, distribute the cosine t here, so you get plus, again, pull out the constant, so 1 half, Laplace, cosine t, cosine 2t. Good stuff. So the Laplace of cosine t is pretty simple. Um, recall that the Laplace of the cosine of kt, well, cosine has the s. That's how I memorize it. So it's got an s upstairs, and on the bottom it's s squared plus k squared. Sine is the same thing, except it has a k upstairs. So if you remember cosine has the s, uh, you'll be able to do these. And then what about this? Well, there's a trig identity, right? Um, if you have the cosine of A times the cosine of B, this is equal to 1 half, parentheses, and it's cosine of A plus B, okay, plus cosine of A minus B. That's one of the product um, to sum identities. Let's finish this. This is equal to 1 half. So we're taking the Laplace of this. K is 1 in this case. So cosine has the s. So it's s over s squared plus 1 squared. So just s squared plus 1. Plus 1 half. And now we have to use our trig identity, right? So here a is equal to t and b is equal to 2t. So it'll be 1 half, right? We have an additional 1 half from the formula, okay? And then it's going to be, let's see, cosine of a plus b, so t plus 2t, that's going to be 3t. That's plus. And then t minus 2t, so a minus b, so t minus 2t is negative t parentheses, and then we'll close the bracket for the Laplace. Let's check that. So it was cosine of a plus b, so t plus 2t is 3t. Yep, looks okay. And then t minus 2t is negative t. Yep, looks okay. This is equal to, I'm going to come way over here so I have more room, 1 half times s over s squared plus 1. It's a cursive s, if you're curious. And we can break this up. This is plus. Um, we can distribute the 1 half through. So 1 fourth Laplace of cosine of 3t. And then again, distribute the 1 fourth plus 1 fourth Laplace of cosine of t. You might say, what happened to the negative? Oh, cosine is even, right? Even functions eat negative signs. The cosine of negative x is equal to the cosine of x for all x. So it's an even function. So it devours negative signs. <laughs> All right, let's finish. This is equal to 1 half times s over s squared plus 1 plus 1 fourth. And cosine has the s, right? So the s goes up top. Then on the bottom, we have s squared plus 3 squared. So 3 squared is 9 plus 1 fourth. And again, cosine has the s. So it's s. And it's s squared plus 1 squared. So 1 squared is 1, right? k is 1 in this case. k is 3 in this case. And, uh, oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that? That's pretty interesting. So we have some, some common terms here, right? We have this and this. Didn't even see that. 
So one half plus one fourth. So basically we have a half plus a quarter. Well, a half is two quarters. So two quarters plus a quarter is three quarters. So three fourths. So this is equal to three fourths times s over s squared plus one plus one fourth times s over s squared plus nine. And that's how you find the Laplace transform of cosine cubed of t. I hope this was helpful.